Hello friends, in this session, we are going to see questions from pipes and systems. Now, pipes and systems, as we have discussed already, is extension of time and work type two questions. So what we discussed in type two question was, and the question with people having different efficiencies. So for example, if I say, there's a person A who can do a work in eight days. Another person is, let's say B, who does the same work in 24 days. And if they both work together, in how many days the work will get completed? These type of questions we are seen under time, uh, time and work type two. So how did we solve this question? First of all, directly by the help of formula. And secondly, we solve this question with the help of LCM method. So what to do in formula, you can refer the video times with uh, time and work, and you can check it there. LCM method will discuss. In LCM method we discussed, we have to consider the total work as certain number of hats, making some number of hats. All right. We just have to break the work into some parts. And how many hats? You have to take that figure as the common multiple of 8 and 24. You can take any number which is common multiple of 8 and 24. So you can say 24, you can say 48, you can say 72, but lesser is better in this case. So we can say 24 hats, making 24 hats is total work. So if A makes 24 hats in 8 days, so every day he is making 24 by head, eight, that is 3 hats per day. This is called as efficiency of A or rate of work of A or everyday work of A. B makes 24 hats in 24 days. So his rate of work is one hat per day. So B makes one hat per day. Together they are going to make three plus one, four hats per day. Now every day together they are making four hats. We have to make total 24 hats. So the days required will be the work to be done. That is 24 hats to be made divided by the everyday work or rate at which it is being done. So it is being done at 4 hats per day rate. So 24 by 4 will require 6 days. And hence the answer here is 6 days. A and B together are going to take 6 days. So this is the basic of the pipes and system as well. Same things will be asked in pipes and systems. Consider this. So there is this tank which is filled by pipe A which can fill this tank in 4 hours. There is another pipe B which can fill this tank say in 12 hours. If I ask you after how much time the tank will get filled completely. So this is the same question that A does a work in 4 days, B does a work in 12 days. Together they can do the work in how many days and all. So we can just say instead of total work we can just consider here total volume of the tank as the common multiple of 4 and 12 which is 12. So we can say 12 liters is the volume of tank, capacity of tank. A fills 12 liters in 4 hours. So rate of A is 12 upon 4. That is 3 liter per hour. B fills 12 liters in 12 hours. So rate of B is 12 upon 12. That is 1 liter per hour. A fills 3 liters per hour. B fills 1 liter per hour. Together they fill 3 plus 1, that is 4 liter per hour. We have to fill entire 12 liters and it is being filled at 4 liter per hour. So we'll require 3 hours. It is the same type of questions that we discuss under time and work. So why this new category is involved? What is so special about this that uh, it was required to have this new type? Because there can be a concept of negative work in time pi uh, pipes and systems. We can just introduce, let's say there is another hole or leak, which is C, which can empty the entire tank in say six hours. So now all three, if acted together now, after how much time the time, uh, time the tank will get filled. So this time, all three are being activated. A, B, which are filling pipes and C, it's like outlet or emptying pipe or leak, which can empty the entire tank in six hours. So this time also we are going to use the same concept. We'll consider the total volume as common multiple of A's time 
B's time and C's times. So common multiple of 4, 6 and 12 being again 12, you can just say the capacity of the tank is 12 liters. A fills 12 liters in 4 hours. So the rate of A is 3 liter per hour. A is going to fill the tank. B fills 12 liters in 12 hours. So the rate of filling is 1 liter per hour. It is also filling time. But C empties 12 liters in 6 hours. So it empties at the rate of 2 liter per hour. It is emptying. So resultantly in 1 hour, A is going to fill 3, B is going to fill 1 and C is going to empty 2. So resultantly 3 plus 1, 4 minus 2. They are going to fill 2 liter per hour resultantly. And ultimately it is getting filled at the rate of 2 liter per hour. So if you have to fill 12 liters at the rate of 2 liters per hour, so the time required is the work to be done divided by the rate at which it is being done or the volume divided by the rate that is 6 hours. So if all three are activated together, the tank will get filled in 6 hours. So this is the basic type of question that we have to prepare ourselves for. And once you understand this, we, once you start solving the question by LCM method easily, conveniently, then there are little variations, of course, here and there. Sometimes the pipes will started later. One of the pipe can be started earlier than the others. The emptying pipe can be observed and then it can be closed in between. So there can be little variations. The pipes can be activated in uh, alternate pattern. So all the variations are possible. So we'll see those variations. Of course, we are going to see the previous year questions as well. But this is the core of it. Let's see some questions. Now let's see first RBA grade B questions, the exam that uh, we might be preparing for. Two pipes can fill a tank in 36 and 12 hours respectively if the pipe C can empty the one-fourth of the tank in eight hours. So here itself we can just de decide that if C empties one-fourth of the tank in eight hours, that means the entire tank C is going to empty in 32 hours. So C empties the entire tank in 32 hours if a is filling the tank in 36 hours and B also is filling the tank in 12 hours. So as we know, we have to consider the total volume as the common multiple of these three first of all. Now 36 is already multiple of 12. So we can say total volume as 36. Now 36 is not yet multiple of 32. It is multiple of 4 only, but it is not yet multiple of 8. So we'll have to multiply this with 8. And now this is the number 36 into 8. This is the number which is common multiple of all. So we can say this many letters is the total volume. This I suppose is 72 into 4, 288. 288 liter we can say is the total volume of this tank. Now we can discuss the rates here. Now C, it fills 288 in 32. So its rate is going to be 288 upon 32. That is 9. So 9 liter per hour C is going to empty. A's rate is going to be, it fills 288 in 36. So its rate is going to be 8 liter per hour. It is going to fill at this rate. And B is going to fill at the rate of 288 upon 12. That is 24 liter per hour. So A and B are filling. C is emptying, then in how much time all three pipes can fill half the empty tank. So if we have to fill half, that means we just have to fill 144 liter and the combined rate of these three is going to be 8 plus 24, 32 minus 9, that is 23 liter per hour. So we have to fill this much at this rate. So you know the time is the volume to be filled divided by the rate at which it is being filled. 144 upon 23, you can just solve it. The answer will be one of these two, 
Okay, so you can just solve it. I think there is some some printing mistake here because the answer has to be this one. Let's see the next one. A system has three pipes, A, B, and C. A and B can fill it in three and four hours respectively, and C can empty it in one hour. So you can just take the common multiple first of all for three, four, and one. That is going to be twelve liters. So we can say the total volume is twelve liters. That means a can fill 12 liters in 3 hours. That means the rate of A is 12 upon 3. That is 4 liter per hour. B can fill 12 liters in 4 hours. So its rate is going to be 3 liter per hour. C can empty 12 liter in 1 hour. That means its rate is 12 liter per hour. It is empty. These two are filling. Now if the pipe are open at 3, 4 and 5, the system will be empty at. A is opened at 3, B is opened at 4, and C is opened at 5. Sorry. C is opened at 5 o'clock. So at what time the tank will be emptied? So by this time, A is activated for 2 hours. So in its 2 hours, A is going to fill 8 liter. By this time, C is activated for 1 hour. So in its one hour, C uh, B has filled 3 into 1, 3 liter. So that means by this time, 11 liter is filled. Now, 11 liter needs to be emptied by all three together, acting all three. So all three together, the combined rate is 4 plus 3, 7, 7 minus 12. That is 5 liter per hour. It is emptying ultimately. Okay, so we have to empty 11 liter at the rate of 5 liter per hour. What is the time taken? The volume to be emptied divided by the rate at which it is being emptied. These many hours, if you have to convert it into minutes, you can just say 132 minutes. 132 minutes means 2 hour and 12 minutes. So after 5 o'clock, 2 hour and 12 minutes means it will be emptied at 7, 12 p.m. Answer option A, 7, 12 is the answer. Easy? Let's see one more. Pipes ABC can fill the tank in 30, 40, 60 respectively. Pipes ABC are opened at 7. Similar type of question. So we can just take common multiple as 120 liter. The common multiple of these three is 120. A's rate will be 120 by 30. That is 4 liter per hour. B's rate is going to be 120 by 40. 3 liter per hour. C's rate is 120 by 60. 2 liter per hour. All three can fill the tank. All three are filling the tank. Again, we'll draw the timeline like this. At 7, at 8, and at 10. A started, B started, and C started. So by this point, A is activated for 3 hours. So in its 3 hours, A has filled already 12 liters. By this time, B has activated for 2 hours. So in its 2 hours, B has filled 6 liters. So already 18 liters is filled out of 120. Already 18 is filled. We have to fill 102 liters now. And the combined rate of these three. Now these three fill at the rate of 9 liters per hour. So we have to fill 102 at the rate of 9. What is the time taken? So if you solve this, this is 34 upon 3. We convert it into minutes or you can just say it is 11 complete 1 by 3. So 11 hour completes and 1 by 3 hour means 20 minutes. So 11 hour and 20 minutes after 10 o'clock. So after 10 o'clock, 11 hour means 9 p.m. and 20 means 9.20 p.m. Answer is 9.20 p.m. Is it? Let's see one more. Pipes A and B can fill a tank in 16 and 24 respectively. And pipe C alone can empty the full tank in XRs. All the pipes are open together at 10.30, but C was closed at 2.30. If the tank was full at 8.30 on the same day, then what is the value of X? So we have only two figures available. So we can take the common multiple of these two. We can say the total volume is common multiple of 16 and 24. That is 48. So we can say the total volume is 48 liters. A fills... 
48 liters in 16 hours. So the rate will be 48 by 16. That is 3 liter per hour. B fills 48 liter in 24 hours. So its rate is going to be 48 by 24. That is 2 liter per hour. And C's rate we don't know. All pipes opened at 10.30. So 10.30 all pipes are open. But 2.30 C is closed. So by 2.30, there are four hours. So for four hours, all three, uh, all were open. And the tank was filled at 8.30. 8.30. So A and B, together they can fill 5 liter per hour. And both were open from 10.30 to 8.30. That is for 10 to 8. That is for 10 hours. So for 10 hours, they were open. That means they together filled 5 into 10. That is 50 liters. But the tank is only of 48 liters. That means, meanwhile, by this time, C has emptied 2 liters. Because ultimately, the tank is just filled. That means just 48 liters has been filled. That means C has emptied 2 liters in his, its 4 hours. C has emptied. Because C is activated for 4 hours. So in 4 hours, C has emptied 2 liters. So now to empty entire 48 letters, what is the time taken by C? That is what it is asked. So if it is two times of it, two times of 48, that is 96 hours. C would take 96 hours to empty the entire tank. Easy? Let's see one more. Two pipes can fill an empty tank separately in 24 and 40 and third pipe can empty 30 gallons. Now the, for the third pipe, time is not given, the rate is given. So we'll use that letter. First we'll find the time taken by third pipe to empty. How to do that with the LCM method? So for LCM, we have to consider 24 and 40 is common multiple. That could be 120. So we can say the total volume is 120 liter. Let's say pipe filling, filling pipe is A. Who fills 120 liter in 24 minutes? So the rate will be 120 by 24. That is 5 liter per minute. Another pipe B, which fills 120 liter in 40 minutes, the rate will be 120 by 40. That is 3 liter per minute. Both are filling. Another pipe we don't know. Let's call it emptying pipe C. If all the pipes are open, the tank is full in one hour. Tank is full in one hour. So in one hour, they are going to fill 5 plus 3, 8 liter per minute. So for one hour, they are going to fill 16 to 8. That is 480 liters. But ultimately, only 120 liter is being filled because the total volume is 120. The pipe is just filled. So that means C empties the difference which is 360 liters in one hour. So to empty 120 liter, C is going to take 120 by 360. That is 20 minutes. 1 by 3 hour means 20 minutes. So ultimate time taken by C to empty the tank will be 20 minutes. So actual rate of C if 30 gallons of water per minute and if it is emptying the tank in 20 minutes, what is the capacity of tank? It empties 30 gallon in one minute and for 20 minutes if it is working to empty the entire tank. So that means 600 gallons is the actual. This we consider here rate is to find the minutes. Minutes is the fact. That is what we can say for sure. This is the, we, this is the figure that we consider from our side. Because we consider the total volume as 120, which is not actual. Actual volume is this. So we use this all to find the time of C. And we use that time and the rate of C to find how much it actually empties in uh, the 20 minutes. And the answer here is going to be 600. Easy? Let's see one more. Pipe A can fill empty tank in 6 hours and B in 8 hours. So we can take common multiple as 24. 
So we can say total volume as 24 hours. Oh, sorry, 24 liters. So A fills 24 liters in 6 hours. So the rate will be 24 by 6, 4 liter per hour. B fills 24 liter in 8 hours. So the rate will be 24 by 8, 3 liter per hour. Both pipes are open and after 2 hours, pipe A is closed. So for first 2 hours, both A and B are working. In these two hours, at the rate of four and three, they are filling seven liter per hour. So for first two hours, they have already filled 14 liters. Remaining now is 10 liters because the total is 24 liters. Remaining 10 liters is to be filled by only B. As A is closed now. A is closed. Now only B will be acting. So to fill 10 liters at the rate of three, the time taken by B will be 3 complete 1 by 3 or option number D. 3 complete 1 by 3 hours to fill the remaining time. Easy? Let's see one more. Pipes A and B are filling pipes while C is emptying pipe. A and B can fill the tank in 72 and 90. So again, we can start taking the total volume as common multiple of 72 and 90. That would be it is 8 into 9, it is 9 into 10. This is 8 into 9. This is 10 into 9. So we can say 18 into 5, 18 into 4. So 18 into 5, 2, 4. 18 into 20, 360. So we can say total volume as 360 liters. You can take any common multiple. If you can find LCM, it will be really good. If you can't, you can take just the product of these two. That will also work. So that means pipe A fills at the rate of 360 upon 72 means 5 liter per minute. It is in minutes. And B fills 360 by 90 means at the rate of 4 liter per minute. And there is pipe C which is emptying pipe whose rate we don't know. All three pipe open together. The tank gets filled in 2 hours. So in 2 hours at the rate of 5 plus 4, 9 liter per minute in two hours means in 120 minutes they are going to fill 120 into 9 1080 liters but actually they filled only 360 liters that means c empties in the time 720 liters 720 liters in two hours or 120 minutes so that means the rate is 6 liter per minute. So C's rate is 6 liter per minute because it is empty 720 liter in 120 minute. So 720 upon 120, 6 liter per minute, it's the rate for C to open. A and B are open together for 12 minutes, then close and C is open, the tank will be empty. So in their 12 minutes, at this rate, they will fill 12 into 9, 108 liters. So to empty 108 liters at the rate of 6, the time taken by C will be 108 upon 6, that is 18 minutes. So the time taken by C to empty what they have already filled at the rate of, sorry, 6, at the rate of 6 will be 18. Because 6 twos are 12, so you can directly say 9 twos are 18 minutes. Easy? Okay, this is the question, uh, you know, for data sufficiency. In what time pipe C can fill the tank? Pipe A and B together take four hours to fill the tank, while pipe A, B, C together take three hours to fill the tank. All pipes are inlay. Can you solve single-handedly for pipe C? Yes, you can because A and B combine is given. So you can just replace A and B with a pipe, another pipe, let's say D. So if D's time is given, D and C's combined time if given. So you can find individual time of C as well. With the help of formula also you can do. Or you can use LCM method to solve this. If you want, we can uh, solve this. Sometimes figure might not be easy to solve this question because these questions are not to be solved. They are just to be uh, able to know which data is sufficient to answer the question. 
So fine, we'll try solving. We know A and B combine, let's call it D. D fills in four hours. C plus D, together they fill in three hours. So we have to answer for C. C fills in how many hours? So let's say C fills in X hours. You can use the formula directly. Three, the combination of these two is given as X into four upon X plus four, right? Product upon addition of these two gives you their combined time. This is the formula that we have learned in one of the session. So it will be 3x plus 12 is equal to 4x. x will be equal to 12. So you can say c takes 12 hours. So only first data is single-handedly sufficient for now. For second data, time taken by A alone to fill half of the tank is same as that as time taken by A and B together to fill the complete tank. In the second, there is not even a mention of C. So we can't tell anything about C by the second. So the answer you are going to mark is one alone is sufficient to answer the question. Two alone is not. That is option number A. Oh, sorry, option number D. Only statement one is sufficient. Easy. Now quantity comparison. Quantity one, that is X. You have to solve for X. A pipe alone can fill cistern in 60 minutes, but due to leakage, pipe fill only 80% of the cistern in one hour. One hour means 60 minutes. So you can say X is the capacity of cistern liter if due to leakage, 60 liters can be leaked out in one hour. Pipe A alone can fill a cistern in 60 minutes, but due to leakage, pipe fill only 80% of the cistern in one hour. So pipe A fill 80% or pipe A actually fill 100% and the leak emptied 20%. That is why only 80% is being filled in one hour. X is the capacity of cistern liters. Due to leakage, 60 liter can be leaked out in one hour. So in one hour, the leak Leak emptied 20%, which is 60 liter. Because A fills completely in 60, but actually only 80% got filled. That means the leak emptied 20%, which is 60 liter in that one hour. So that means the complete capacity of the tank, 100%, is going to be five times of it. That is 300 liters. So the complete capacity, X is the capacity of cistern. That should be 300 liters. So quantity 1 is 300. Quantity 2 is only 250. That, that gives us quantity 1 is greater than quantity 2. Easy? Let's see one more. Three pipes A, B and C fill a tank in 6 hours. After working together, for two hours, C is closed and A and B can fill remaining part in seven hours. The number of hours taken by C alone to fill the tank is. So again, we can consider A and B together as pipe D. So all three, they can fill it in six hours. After working for two hours, C is closed and A and B can fill the remaining part in seven. A and B, let's call it D. So if we can just say that the rate of these two combine is D liter per hour and C, it fills at C liter per hour. So now these two together fill D and C fills C and if they work for six hours, so we can say the total volume is going to be in one hour, they are going to fill D plus C or C plus D. And such for six hours they work to fill the entire tank. That means the entire tank has the capacity C plus D times of six. That is six C plus six D. But if they work in another fashion, if two hours all are working and then C is closed, then A and B the fill the remaining between seven. That means the pipe D, it is activated for nine hours. D is seven plus D is two. So nine times of D and C is activated only for two hours. 
So two times of C, this is how much they are going to fill. That is also the total volume because then also the tank is filled. So both are total volume. So we can just equate these two. Once we equate these two, we get 6C plus 6D is equal to 9D plus 2C. So 4C is equal to 3D. This is the conversion that we get. Or we can just replace the 3D with 4C. That means 6D is going to be 8C. Two times of it means two times of it. So just put 6D is equal to 8C here. That means the total volume is 14C. Total volume is 14 times of C. So if C is filling at the rate of C liter per hour, to fill entire 14C, it is going to take 14C. The volume to be filled, but by the rate at which it is being filled, it is going to take 14 hours. Option number C. Easy? Let's see one last question in this. Pipe A and B can fill a cistern in 10 and 15 hours respectively. So we can again say the total volume as the common multiple of 10 and 15. You can say 30. 30 liters is the total volume. So A fills 30 liter in 10 hours. So the rate of A is 30 upon 10. That is 3 liter per hour and it is filling. B fills 30 liter in 15 hours. So the rate is going to be 2 liter per hour and it is also filling. When third pipe C, which is emptying pipe, also open, then the tank tank can be filled in 18 hours. So together they are filling 3 plus 2, 5 liter per hour. And for such 18 hours, if it is opened, that means they are going to fill 90 liter in that time. But actually the tank is just getting filled. And tank size is only 30 liter. That means C is going to empty 60 liter in its 18 hour. So to empty 30 liter, because it says how much time the C alone takes to empty full tank. Full tank is only, so if it is taking out 60 liter in 18 hours, so it will take 30 liter in 9 hours. So to empty 30 liter, C is going to take 9 hours easy. So as you can see, once you understand the time and work part two questions, these questions are not different than that. Of course, it requires little practice, but this can be solved very, very conveniently and easily with the help of practice. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye. Have a good day.